there's a lot of 1960s radicals still walking around, and they're a lot different than those 19, you know, 1930s radicals that I just just got to glimpse with my eyes. You know, you know, you talk to you know some of these old 1960s radicals, and they say things like, you know, well. You know, if you talk about Ho Chi Minh, they'll be like, well, Ho Chi Minh was a freedom fighter, man. He was, you know, fighting against imperialism. So, of course, the American media was demonizing him. But then you say, well, you know, you know what do you think about what's going on now? And they'll say, well, you know, uh, Assad is killing his own people. We've got to invade Syria. And, you know, that Putin, he fixed our elections and, and all of that. And you say, well, you know, did, you know they, they lied back then to justify wars. You think they might lie now to justify wars? They say, no, no. You know, back then our, our reporters were a bunch of squares like Walter Cronkite. Now we got hip reporters like Rachel Maddow. She's a lesbian, you know. You know, you know I, I, it's the weirdest thing. But t on a more serious note, you know, there's a, a 1960s radical leader named Jerry Rubin. I don't know if people are familiar. Well, Jerry Rubin, he was being interviewed, and they asked him, what was the greatest accomplishment of the 1960s generation? And he said, the greatest thing we did is we got rid of the World War II mentality. And I hear that, and I think, the, got rid of the World War II mentality. During the Second World War, the United States aligned with the Soviet Union to defeat fascism. There was a feeling, that was the beginning of hope for the civil rights movement, because there was opposition to racism and fascism in the United States. During the Second World War, Roosevelt was the president, and he created social security and unemployment insurance. And towards the end of the war, Roosevelt even called for a new Bill of Rights to guarantee everyone jobs and housing and education. Why in the world would we want to get rid of the World War II mentality? It's the McCarthyist mentality. It's Joe McCarthy. That's the mentality, the 50s mentality that we need to get rid of. And to make matters worse, I'll even tell you this. There was a, a radical group in the 1960s they called the Weathermen. I don't know if people are familiar with them. Well, one of the leaders of the Weathermen was giving a speech at one of their conferences in 1969, 1970. And he said, we want to appeal to the part of every kid who sympathizes with Lex Luthor and hates <laughs> Superman. Well. Forgive me if there's any children in the audience. I'm going to use some hip 1960s terminology and say, no fucking way! Right? I have no interest in aligning with Lex Luthor Bezos. I'm with Superman. I'm with Roosevelt. I'm with the Soviet people. I am for defeating fascism, and I am for building a better America for the people of the country.